Thanks, JG. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, obviously, come on the road to a tough place. Um, not, you know, the result by any means what we expected, and to go a goal up and win that first half, you know, it's a good indication that, yeah, the game's 90 minutes, 90 plus minutes, and uh, unfortunately, we, we don't win that second half. We don't come out as energized, and, and, and this, you know, they come back in the game uh, with a shot from distance, and then all of a sudden, uh, the penalty happens. Not sure if that was a penalty or not. Um, you know, I feel really sorry for uh, Dirks. Uh, I think it hit his hip and deflects up to his arm. Um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Um, so yeah, that took the wind out of ourselves, and we get caught chasing the game. So, you know, nothing, nothing more to say than that. Um, yeah, disappointing last 20 minutes of the game. Thanks, coach. Uh, we'll go with Tom Timmerman. Hey, Brad. There were a few of these last year. It's it's a three-one loss, but is it not? feel like a 3-1 loss because it's a heck of a goal by Arango to start it and then a PK, and then you're chasing that it's, you know, the 3-1 scoreline doesn't do you justice? Yeah, I mean, when you mean a couple of last year, I remember like Seattle 3-0, LAFC 3-0 or whatever, you know, um, this feels totally different, right? I think for the most half, uh, for the most part, the first half, you know, we had some really good moments. We controlled the ball really well. Um, you know, I thought uh, they didn't really have much um, to offer in that in that first half. And yeah, listen, they make it a couple of subs and, and influence the game that way. And yeah, we weren't able to to cope with uh, to cope with that. Um, and then, like I said, just the whole rhythm, momentum of the game, the penalty, it just uh, it takes the wind out of sails. And uh, yeah, we left to look at ourselves and how we can work around to to mitigate that. And your, your XG is 0.69 from what I saw, which would be your lowest of the year in MLS games. Did you feel, I mean, how'd you feel about the what the offense did out there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we hit the crossbar, Klaus just misses the crossbar, top corner. Nukvi gets in late on in the game. We score the goal with Indy. Uh, Indy has another one uh, in the first half. So, you know, I felt we had many moments and on the road, how many moments <laughs> do you want to get? Um, how much XG would you like? Uh, so these, these are the things. Um, so yeah, listen, uh, a game's about the fine margins and uh, doing the simple things right. And sometimes uh, the simple things got away from us in the second half. Next, we're going to Justin Horniker. Hey coach, I wanted to ask you a bit about Indiana Vaslov coming out strong. That was a real goal scorer's goal. He does a couple step overs and sends in the ball from deep. I mean, of course the game changes on a knife's edge, but initially that goal, what were you kind of thinking seeing it come out, come out of the gate strong? It was good. It's something we've been speaking about. So, you know, for something we gain, what's let us down over the last couple of weeks, you know, um, especially with, with starts and what have you. Uh, we thought we needed to do a better job of that and, and happy to see the guys reward themselves for it, you know, which sets us up uh, for a good first half and, and uh, you know, a controlling performance on the road in the first half. So um, that we weren't able to do that in the second half is, is disappointing, you know. I feel sorry for the guys, you know, they put so much effort into it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to read too much into it and uh, I don't want to dwell too much on, on it. Next, we go to Matt Baker. Coach, you mentioned the the first half kind of seemed like it was a, it was a pretty well played game for you, and things changed in the second. I'm curious, where do you think things really changed? Was it uh, after the the substitutes because they kind of came back and forth? And do you feel that your subs were were having difficulty managing kind of Gomez and Luna coming in in the second half? No, because Luna's a direct uh, opponent for uh, for Anthony, and I thought Anthony had two, three good moments on recovery runs, on tackles, and four defending moments. And you know, I thought he didn't really play that big a role. Um, Luna floats between the lines, and and he was a danger. I think Crooks was a danger also in in the first half. So um, yeah, we just found different ways to to mitigate it in the first half, and I felt we had a little bit better structure. And then yeah, they score a goal from distance. Um, you know, I don't know if Roman's uh, unsighted. It was a really good goal. I don't think there was much to do. It maybe put a bit more pressure on the ball. Um, and then, you know, when we're trying to weather that storm, uh, then we get the penalty, so, which kind of throws any rhythm out. Um, so, yeah, it's just disappointing chain of events. Um, but again, we, we can't uh, feel sorry for ourselves too long. Uh, we want to get back and, and make sure we prepare in the right way for the next game. We'll go back to Tom. Uh, Brad, is Klaus okay? He got him went down there in the center circle there and then you subbed him out shortly, or not shortly, but a while after. Yeah, um, he seems fine. I think he just took a blow to the head on a, on a set piece where he had to clear the ball. Um, but it, uh, all things are looking all right.
They made this to the back line. You had to did it was did an admirable job chasing down balls and clearing away dangerous chances in the in the box. I mean, RSL had some dangerous looking plays, and whether it was Josh or Tim, they did a good job of getting in the way of them. Yeah, I think um, the back line was aggressive to shift and, and do all the things we, we want them to do and, you know, um, play by our principles. Um, but yeah, just, uh, yeah, the game got away from us. And like I said, you know, I don't want to dwell too much on it. Um, yeah, I think uh, it was good to have Tim back. Um, it was good to have his leadership, you know, good to have him uh, get through 90 minutes and uh, we'll move on from there. It just wasn't our day today. Uh, it wasn't our half in that second half. We got time for two more. We'll go back to Matt. Coach, what did you think of the how the center mids performed? It was Dirk and Blom's first start together. How did you evaluate them? Yeah, I mean, we knew that with with uh, you know whether it was Luna uh, or Arango floating between the lines or, or Crooks dropping in deep, uh, we just thought that we needed that balance um, and and positional discipline, and we thought we'll get that with Jabula Blom and and Chris Dirk, um, and I think you saw that many times in in the first half. So. You know, we, we nullified that and yeah, just, just the way the game, you know, gets gets away from us in, in, a, in a few moments uh, in the second half. Uh, we left to, to rue a good performance on the road in the first half. So, you know, we're not going to, like I said, uh, dwell too much on it. Um, we'll take the positives out of this and obviously there's some things to look at. But um, yeah, I thought they did okay. You got time for one more if anyone has one? Coach, uh, Kyle Hebert was your sub at right back. Is there anything to read into that, using him over Jake Nerwinski? No, nothing really. Just that Kyle had rhythm with City 2 last week. You know, Jake hasn't had so many uh, moments to catch uh, a game, to get in the game and have some minutes. Um, I just thought Kyle's been, you know, presenting himself really well. Um, and, you know, there was a potential for him to also, you know, if the scoreline stayed in a certain way, potentially move to a different shape and a formation on the back chain um, or the back line. So, you know, there was a couple of domino effects um, had the game stayed uh, in our favour a little bit longer. Um, it wasn't meant to be, and um, but yeah, don't I wouldn't read too much into it. Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Fred. Everyone, we got Indiana Vasilev. Go ahead, Tom. Indy, you guys go ahead early and you hang on to it, but what did it feel like out there, especially in the second half when they seemed to bring more pressure on you? Uh, we just weren't good enough in the second half. Uh, plain and simple. Um, first half, it took us 35, 40 minutes to actually start connecting passes and look like ourselves a little bit. Um, which was frustrating in itself, but we still got got to half up 1-0. And then the second half just just wasn't really us. Um, just super disappointed. Um, angry, not happy. Yeah, not good enough. Sorry, sorry to step on you there. Any, any, any thoughts as to why the team would would be like that in a situation you know, going up on the in a head on the road, a place like this? I couldn't tell you, Tom. Um, we'll have to go back and watch video and go back over what we did and what our process is and see and see what we can do better because we can definitely do better. Um, and being up one zero for the majority of that game, I don't think that we should be losing that three one and in any scenario, even with the pressure um, that they were putting on us to begin the second half, I still don't think we should lose that game 3-1. Um, and that's on everyone to be better individually, including myself, and for us to be better as a team. Because, like I said, 1-0 up, and it's, it's not easy to win this league. By no means it's easy to win this league. But when you're up 1-0 with they scored their first one on the 73rd, 74th. We have one zero with 15 minutes to go and change. It's um, it's tough to lose that game by uh, by how we did it. Disappointing. Next we go to Matt. 
Indy, I'm sure the goals given up were, were really frustrating, but how did you feel in the second half on your ability to create chances and, and kind of how did you see the game flow? In the second half? Yeah. Yeah. Just not good enough. Just like I said, just not good enough as a collective, um, as a team, to, 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 to just want it. Um, yeah, which is crazy that I that I I feel like I even said that, you know, because we're a team that will work our socks off every single game, and I'm and I'm not saying and I'm not saying we didn't, but I just feel like we. We just had more to give in that second half, and uh, it definitely wasn't there. So in terms of chance creation, um, yeah, I, I can't really think of. I think Klaus had a, when we were still 1-0 up, Klaus had a nice little run down the side there. I think he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Or, I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, he was at a tight angle, but he had a shooting, shooting position, which was decent. But I think that's the only thing that comes to mind in terms of chance creation. We'll go to Justin. Indeed, Bradley, I know, talked midweek about those transition moments kind of being mm -hmm. the key of this match. Mm -hmm. From what you're saying, do you think those transition moments were still kind of the key with, in the second half, RSL were able to take advantage of those moments? Yes, but I just, I, I, I'm going to go back on what I said, not go back, I'm going to go back to what I said, which is I just feel like we just maybe needed to want it a little bit more. And I think that's how I'm going to answer the question. Um, second balls, first contacts. Um, I just feel like maybe we needed to want it a little bit more in that second half. Um, I think I spoke on Thursday about those small details meaning a lot. And I feel like those small details kind of went against us today, which is, uh, yeah, super tough. tough. Tough up here, sitting up here talking. Um, still kind of fresh. It's just, yeah, just just kind of overall tough. Sorry if that was a poor answer. Go back to Tom. Um, and he, even after all that, you, the game is still tied in the 80th minute. Did, did it seem like this would be another one of those games where you, despite all of that, you could get away with a, a, a point out of this one? Yeah, yeah, I mean, listen, even at one moment, we made, I think we made two, two to four subs at that stage, is that correct? And we had fresh legs on the field, so f from my side, I came out, and, like, me and Tots came out, and whoever else was at a similar bench, and the, the feeling from, the, from us was, we're tied 1-1, like, disappointing that we conceded, but we can, we can still win this game, even given the flow of the game, and, and, and yes, we didn't create too much in that second half, but we're one one away from home. They scored. They're on a high. You know, there's ten minutes left. Anything can happen. We're feeling like we can still get three points out of that game. Um, and 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 yeah, those small details went against us, and we ended up losing that game three one, which is uh, I sound like a broken record, but it's just super disappointing. I don't know how else to put it. We don't like losing here, and we never will. That's not the culture we've created, um, and it's not something we'll stand for. So yeah, we're super disappointed. We're angry. And uh, we're definitely looking for um, uh, a, a reaction next week, you know, because this game left a sour taste in our mouth. We got time for one more? Anyone? No. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, Indy, um, it was the first game back for the PSRA referees. There yeah. were a couple, I think, calls that may have been questionable. One, Chicho Rongo not receiving any kind of punishment. Yeah. And the other, obviously, the the... Chris Durkin handball call. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? And did the Chicho Rongo uh, issue with Thomas or Thomas Totlin have anything to do with how that game progressed? I honestly wish I could comment on it, Matt, but I I genuinely have di didn't see the Chicho Rongo incident, and I they didn't show any replays of the handball. So sadly, I can't comment on it. Um, I mean, I would like to see those back because he is the guy who ended up scoring three goals against us. And if we go up, and, if, and I think we were still up 1-0 at that stage. Um, so yeah, it's something that we'll definitely look at, but at the moment I can't comment on any of it, and I, and I, don't, and I don't really necessarily want to, because I don't really want to blame that one specific incident for what happened. That's it. Andy, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.
Hey everyone, we've got Josh Yarrow here. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, Josh, what, what do you think got away from the team in the second half there? Uh, uh, that's a tough one. I think, I mean, the first half we came out, obviously, we saw that we scored a goal really early, and I thought it was, it was a decent half from us. And I think um, we kind of lost our ways a little bit. You know, the way we play as a team, I think we didn't show that enough in the second half. And um, when that doesn't happen, you know, it becomes really difficult for us. And we found out, you know, in the second half through the goals that we conceded. You had a bunch of runs, and Tim did too, uh, whether it was chasing after guys and knocking balls away in the box or breaking up plays at the last minute. What was it like up there? to be 70 minutes into the game and still be shutting them out with all the work you had to do. Yeah, again, we are a team that pride ourselves in, 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 in working hard and, you know, and being tough to play against. And I think, um, you know, just, just doing what we're supposed to do. I, I think our goal obviously was to get a clean sheet. Again, that didn't happen, but uh, we tried our best, you know, in moments when well, to make critical plays. And I think Tim, Tim, you know, Tim did a few, I did a few. Um, but overall, as a team, it's it's disappointing when we don't get the result, even when when you have plays like that. So we we regroup, you know, get back to the ways and reflect like we always do, and, and you know, find ways to move forward as a team. Go to Matt. Josh, in the second half, how did you feel the back line and the center mids worked together? It was it was kind of the first time you had played as a as a collective with this group. How do you feel you performed in open play? Um. Like I said, I mean, a tale of two halves. Um, second half got away from us a little bit, um, and that's that's where we lost the game. Um, so again, overall, as a group, I think we have a lot of things that we can improve on from this game, um, a lot of lessons learned. And like I said, early on, we just have to reflect and, and, and again, look at the video. Because when you're playing the game, you can see things, but when you look back on video, um, a day or two after the game, it becomes a little bit clearer on, on what, what went wrong, and so that's what we'll do. But uh, overall, I thought we could have been, you know, tighter as a tighter as a group, as a group from front to back. Um, and you know, in those critical moments, uh, we didn't show up the way that we usually do. We we'll go back to Tom. Um, were you, I know Tim was doing the talking with the ref after the handball call, but did did you hear anything as to what the theory was there? On obviously, it hit Durkin's hand. Yeah, well, I mean, the theory as we know it, it's not what happened tonight. And again, I'm never going to blame the refs for calls that they make. We always focus on ourselves um, and that's what we do. But yeah, I mean, the explanation that we got in preseason is not... If that explanation was right, then it would have been a different call. But again, I'm, I don't control the refs. I don't uh, make those decisions. And ultimately, those decisions change games and it did tonight. Um, but then again, we always put ourselves in positions where we look at how we could have done better, and that's what we'll do. And it looked like the first goal there by Arango is one that it's like, what can you do to stop that one? I mean, that kind of turns things around, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a shot from uh, 25 yards out. Um, it's a good shot. Again, like I said, I mean, there's always such a defender when you concede a goal, there's, you always look at ways and means that maybe you could have done something better. Maybe someone, you know, you could have helped someone out to do something better to kind of change the outcome. Um, and I always do that reflection. So, um, but again, we play a sport where without mistakes, goals are not going to happen. And sometimes you get punished for your mistakes. It certainly happened tonight. And is this game even after the PK and they go up 2-1? Did you have still a good feeling out there as to being able to, to get even, to get a get a point out of this one? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there was ever, ever a moment when they went up to one that I thought this was it. Because, like I said, this group has shown time and time again that we can come back into games. Uh, and I still have, you know, had confidence 100% that we're going to get something out of this game. Um, you know, at least a tie out of it. Um, so yeah, there was that belief, you know, it's, it's always a belief until the game ends. And so, but unfortunately, when you were considered the third goal, we didn't dug ourselves in a hole that was pretty deep to get out of. But you know, these things happen, um, and we just have to make sure that throughout the season, we don't have you know many of those happen.
And how have you been feeling out there about your play in these past two games? Yeah, it's been okay. It's been decent. Um, like I said, it hasn't been anything um, that's, that's always, like even when you have your best games, <clears throat> there's always room for improvement. And that's how I've always approached every game. Even games when I think I played well, I still look at the things that I could improve on and, and build on that. So. Um, some positive things from the two games. Uh, I would take that as always. You know, learn from the mistakes um, and you know keep pushing on because there's just, there's still a lot of season left to play, so a lot of games, and hopefully I can position myself in a place where I'm doing my absolute best. You know, to to help the team win. And just team wise, in the last four games, you guys have allowed ten goals. Is is that is that an element of concern? That's a that's a, a good sized number. Yeah, I mean, when you're conceding, it's always it's always um, it's always concerning. Like again, it's 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 been a weird start for us, if you if you want to call it that. But as a team, as a group, um, we have full confidence in ourselves, you know, in our coaching staff and everyone around the club that um, that we're gonna get better, and and that's 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 what we we strive for. That's what we work towards every day. And I think if there's any group that can do that, it's this group. Uh, it's a group of guys that. Um, we'll fight a group of guys that will always give 100%, and when you have a group like that, you always got a chance. And so, um, not tonight, but I'm always proud of the guys, um, you know, for, for collectively how we, we always fight for each other, how we always back each other up in difficult moments. And these are difficult times, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. Um, but I think we don't give up, you know, as players. And I have full confidence that. We will we'll turn things around, and when we do, it's, it's only going to go up from there. Thank you, Josh. Josh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Josh.